Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. Today we're in Toronto, Ontario. We're going to meet up with Nick and John Paul Morgan of Morgan Solar. These two guys have come up with a better solar panel, one that's a concentrated solar panel that could reduce the price of solar by as much as one half. Let's find out how it works. The inspiration for starting up Morgan Solar came when John Paul Morgan was working for Doctors Without Borders in the Congo. While working at a hospital in a small village, Morgan saw what life was like without electricity. I think people should be liberated by, by electricity so that they can think and dream and do something you know, uh, better with themselves and bigger with themselves than just carrying water all day. And what really drove the point home for me was we ma were managing this hospital at 180 beds um, and we had these 20 water mamas that would go down to the well, get water, carry it up to cisterns in the hospital, dump it out and go back up and down this hill every day. So Morgan suggested he and his colleagues get some pumps and leave the village with running water when they leave. And so we installed all the water pipelines, we built out the system, and when it came time to actually install the power source, we elected to use solar power so that there wouldn't be operating fuel costs. And it was two solar panels. It was two really big solar panels to replace the effort, the, the toil of these 20 women working every day. And that just blew me away. So um, when I got back from that contract, I basically said to myself, you know, if there's a way to make electricity cheaper, if there's a way to make electricity affordable enough that those people in that village could afford it and use it and be empowered by it and have lights to read by and, you know, mills to mill their flour with and pumps to move their water, the world would be a better place. Morgan decided to commit his life to the search for clean, affordable energy. And thus, Morgan Solar was born. It turns out that John Paul is not just a guy with a big heart, he's also a scientist, an inventor, and a businessman with some very practical ideas about how to make a better solar module. So concentrated solar energy is um, a technology where you take the incoming sunlight and you focus it to a tiny point and then you convert it to electricity at that point rather than trying to convert it to electricity everywhere on the surface of the, of the solar panel. Uh, and the reason that you want to do that is because then you can use um, conversion materials, uh, you know, photoelectric, uh, photovoltaic cells that are much, much more efficient than the kind you would use on a, on a normal solar panel. And so the net result is a solar panel that is twice as efficient as a typical silicon solar panel. Morgan says he can make these concentrated solar modules twice as efficient as standard solar PV, but what about the cost? And the other potential gain is the materials that you use to concentrate can be sort of cheaper materials. So in our case, we use inexpensive plastics to kind of gather and harness the light and focus it to one point. Morgan's potentially game-changing innovation is making a concentrating solar module that's thin, cheaper to manufacture, and twice as efficient. Typical solar panels are, have dropped in price dramatically over the last couple of years, and they've come down to around 70 cents per watt, which is still uh, too high for really true grid parity type uh, prices where the power produced by solar electricity is cheaper than the power produced from other sources. Um, and Morgan Solar hopes to push those prices down even lower in the coming years. Um, as far as cost of manufacture goes, we think we can build our solar panels for about half of what silicon solar panels can be built for. Instead of using expensive glass lenses, Morgan uses everyday plastic, the same material you'd find in car headlight covers to reduce costs. Will the idea work? Morgan Solar is a startup that has already attracted $40 million in investment and they have already commercialized a solar tracking system. The plan is to have the Sun Simba concentrated solar modules ready for market by June 2014. Oh, I'm extremely excited. I mean, <laughs> after years of research, it's great to be finally at a point where, you know, yes, we can build these things cheaply enough that they are super cost competitive and they're extremely efficient and they and they last like those three factors are huge and uh, it's thrilling to get to commercialization. The first customers of Morgan Solar concentrated solar modules will come from Canada, US and India says Nick Morgan VP of business development. As a general rule on green energy futures we only cover finished projects but the Morgan Solar story is a brief glimpse into the commitment and innovation that is coming from Canadian entrepreneurs in the clean tech startup space. To learn more about Morgan Solar, visit our website at greenenergyfutures.ca. 
There we've got photos, a blog, and a podcast. Stay tuned for more in green energy innovation when we visit the Mars Clean Tech Practice in Toronto next time. We'd love to hear from you. Drop us a comment on our Facebook page or send us a tweet or email. Thank you for watching. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.